So uh, I'll start with this question. Start, sub or sell Gerard Lampard and Skulls? Oh, Jesus. No, <laughs> we're not putting him in. I know, I, know, you know, I know you're selling. Well, don't don't help him. Actually, don't don't help him. him. I don't know if, do you know why I'll, I'll tell you, I don't know if you're going to sell who I'm thinking? Because you were like that in terms of goals. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. No, but I think if uh, if you're going on pure... Let's, ta- let's start ta- with start, right? Start, it's... Gerard. He started Steven all, Gerard all day long. Yeah. Okay, why are you starting him? What was what's so was, great about he, him that he's better than Lampard and Scholes? Because he could play everywhere and do everything, and he was just if it weren't for him, Liverpool wouldn't have been successful as to what they were. Yeah, he carried that team for years and years and kept them up there with the likes of Manchester United and give them. I mean, he was in, in terms of ridiculous. In terms of Spenty. how good he was, right? Yeah. In terms of how wow. good he was. We, which we know he's like nine and a half out of ten, right? And also the team he was in, you mentioned it, he carried them. Yeah. Is he there, with all that and more in mind, is he the greatest ever captain? Yeah. Yeah. I think he has to be, I, I think he? I think he's the best Hendo? player. I, I mean... No, he doesn't get close to Henderson. <laughs> no, I know. The only way I'm saying that, look at Henderson, right. he's look Henderson won as captain. Yeah, yeah. No. And he's the better captain. It's, it's... Yeah, Gerard. No, I, 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 I genuinely believe, don't get me wrong, Liverpool had a fantastic team, but you know, before they got the Alonso's, the Mascarano's, sorry, I mean, some of the players he, he played with who weren't at the level of what Liverpool Football Club were at, or should I say the level he was. Mm-hmm. And there wasn't many. There wasn't many, but them two lads who, who we're going to discuss after this one, was certainly up there. Did you? Did you? And in the conversation, did you definitely. take any traits from any players you admired into your game? Um, I, I to be fair, I, I, I loved the way he, he, he used to. He, one minute he was there, the next minute he was gone, and I, and I always try to sort of emulate that to think. And arriving in the box, he always just seemed to be there, right place, right time, and so all them little things I, t- I tried to. But you know, obviously, he was just tremendous mm-hmm. at it. He's you know, so much quicker than people don't. think as well, Gerard. Oh, he? Yeah. he says, nick it around the corner and he was gone, and mate. Gone. gone. Was yeah. he a nasty player? Yeah. Yeah. He, he stamped go, he... on me. Did he? Yeah, on my chest, yeah. Go on. Proper. Where was that? That was at Bolton, because obviously we were beating them. And yeah. Uh, yeah, oh yeah. So you went oh, down... if, you, if you got an opportunity, you'd do it, yeah. So you went down and he stamped on your chest? Yeah. And, any words spoken? Uh, Apart from... <laughs> I, I, I sort of rolled it, so it was okay, and I was able to stay on. And he, he just texted me after the game, just said sorry about that, and I said I know you're not really, but thanks, appreciate the text and that. But like we were sound after it, and I didn't want him to get punished for it because it was part and parcel of the game, and that's the way it was. And then in them days, because if I got the chance, I would I was going for him. Do as you well. know what? It's, it's just funny because when you play against sides like Liverpool and they've. Every team, them top teams have got obviously two, three, four unbelievable players. You get this kind of buzz, don't you? And thinking, oh, we're going to see him today. Like, yeah. gonna be. Obviously, you're setting me field against him, but if I'm playing against Rio or one of these guys, I'm thinking, mm. oh, look forward to this today. Would you look forward to like a 50 50 ball with Gerard? Yeah. You would. Yeah, he would. Course, he's, a, he he was, he's a lunatic. Yeah, I know he was. <laughs> him over there would. And you're trying to get me to box with him. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't happening. Uh, so you, you, you're starting Steve Gerrard, so you've got to bench and sell either lamps or skulls. Yeah, and look, I, I don't think I'd want to sell either of them, but I'm I'm probably going to bench poor skulls and oh. just genuinely because I thought of someone who probably wasn't, say, athletically. Um, as much as what Stephen was, he, you you couldn't get near him, like because of his brain, his football brain was phenomenal. Sat he was cool, wasn't he? Yeah, just I mean, like some things what he'd done on the pitch, and you'd be thinking, well, and then where's he gone? And it was like he just sort of floated around the pitch, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And just literally played at his pace, but it was just a pace what no one else could sort of get to. And okay, so you're selling lamps. Yeah, that um, shocks me that you know, because much, Eve's the same. Him. How much <laughs> yeah. you get him for Lampard? How much does he go for? In this day and age, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, what's all right? I'll write down a number. Over, over hundred. Over hundred. Yeah. I've written down um, a number. Well, I'm saying one two five. Oh, okay, I've gone one fifty. Yeah, yeah, one two five. It's, it's his, his goal record was ridiculous. He yeah. was the same. Getting in the box, arriving late, scoring goals. That yeah. was him. Well, he was arriving late because he's knackered, probably. Come on, Kev King, aren't you? Oh, I arrive late, though. I arrive late. It's a trait. Lamps the time like... was always perfect, Andy. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. why. Comes out deflection, comes yeah. out on the penalty spot. Who's the greatest player you directly came up against then? You mentioned Steven Gerrard. Um, oh, Jesus. Because you, you've never, like, we haven't even mentioned Patrick Vieira in this. Mm, of you course. Know, Thierry Henry and all them type, types. But if there's one player who you think. Who would have I have loved to be with? Or if, say, my boy now was playing, my boy plays now, he's just played today, actually, and won in his first school he? game. He's four, four, 13, four, okay. under 14. Has he got it? Yeah, he's playing really well at the minute. He, he's at Forest. He's at oh, Forest, wow, does okay. really well. Um, but yeah, he just loves it. 
plays what with a smile he? on the face. He plays as a ten. Okay. Yeah, he plays as a ten for is them. He, is yeah. he going to be really good, or is he going to be like you? I, I I I hope he's going to be really like me and really really good. <laughs> it must be. You know, ben, ben, ben is it's tongue in cheek, right? It's, but Ben is the same. Your boy's a striker. Yeah. So a striker with the name like Ben on the back, and you've got yeah. a boy that's a ten with the name Nolan on the back. Yeah. These boys have got so much pressure because they're, they're dad, right? I, I know I mock both of you, yeah. but to get to where you got to is like the one percent of people that want to become. It's like mm. practically impossible. So you've got to be the exception to the rule, both of you. So for your kids to want to follow in your footsteps, have you, have you spoke to them about the amount of pressure they must go through, especially when you get to fourteen? But these boys only what nine. nine. Yeah, no, to be fair, he handles it really well. I mean, everyone knows he's my boy at Forest, yeah. um, where his, his school, as I said, it's his first school game today, and he, he won and he was captain, so he's texted me, he just brilliant, he loved it. Um, uh, But he's doing really well, and I think, I, I, I just said, look, I don't want you to think that you're me, you're not me, you just go and just enjoy it, play with a smile on your face, and I think he does that, and I think that's why, and the coaches have been really good with him. Forest is a fantastic club, mm. um, and I, I love going there and watching him there. Mm. So for me, he, he's just he's just got to enjoy it. I don't want him to take because at, at his age, I, I, the enjoyment was taken out of it for me, and I stopped playing and went and just played with my mates for a bit again. Did you? Yeah, from Liverpool. Yeah, so that's interesting. Yeah. So, so, so did did you? And I'll ask you both, but mm. because yours is younger, mm. he's got you know. Mm. You, so yours is fourteen, yours is nine. So there's about yeah. five, six years yeah. between them. But when you were a kid growing up, did you literally? eat, sleep and breathe football? Did you go to bed yeah. with a football, you wake up and kick football about? Because yeah. for the kids nowadays, they've got so many different things to PlayStation mm. and... iPads. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. your, your boy that's 14, yeah, is he uh, as I, obsessed well, he, with football he's as you He's 14 were? in January, he's under 14 now. Right. But, yeah, I mean, look, but I sort of try and keep him that because they train a lot more than what we did now. I did, really? What we ever did. I mean, we were only probably Tuesday, Thursdays, and that's mm. if you could make one. Like, do we play on the Sunday? Uh, Sunday trains Monday, Tuesday, Friday. Then he probably plays for the school one other day of that. So the, the the forever, there's games now galore for these kids now. So I had time to just get them to relax, to you know, chill out, mm. um, because he's he and and he plays on his computer. Uh, okay. But yeah, he's not relentless on it. Like you know, a lot of kids. He he did get to a point, and I had to sort of pull him off yeah. it. And I think that there's there's an happy medium, and I think he's got to keep it. And that's why I said, if he's just full on football, 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 I don't want him to lose that love and no. and hunger that he uh, that he wants to go to the game on on a Sunday, and he wants because when I did, it wasn't nice, and I remember it, you know. But my dad just went, no, that's it, you're not going mm. back, that's it. And you can go and play with your mates and do it, and just be happy. And and I was. Okay. Lucky enough, was a we'll, good, we'll carry good on time. this chat. I'm really enjoying yeah. it. We'll carry on this chat in just a moment. All right, more from the wonderful Kevin Nolan and his son. What's he, can we talk about? What's yeah, his name? Sonny, yeah, yeah. Sonny. Yeah, he'd be loving it, yeah, because he'll, he'll probably be listening. Sonny to Nolan, him. future yeah. England captain, <laughs> Sonny Nolan. Uh, so, we talk, will, he, will he come on the show when he's rich and famous? Will he do that? Of course. Okay. For you, he would, yeah. He'll be his manager, right? Yeah. No, or maybe for Benty, not yeah. you. <laughs> okay, well, fine. More for him. <laughs> I will come on. You deserve it. This that. is where the good money is. <laughs> Talk Sport Drive, super opinionated sporting debate, Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.